project to make toy cars, as you saw, for kids overseas is teaching students at Southeast High School a really valuable lesson. It sure is. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee shows us how that lesson may change the way things are manufactured right here in the United States. It's a tiny gesture. VW bugs, trucks. Traveling a long way. The world's a lot smaller than it used to be, and that's not something that most high school students think about. Zach Morris and his classmates were hoping to give back on a global scale, making these for refugee children in war-torn countries. You may be seven or eight years old, and all you've done your entire life is work. And for us, we have a consumer culture. I can go home, I can walk outside, I can, I can go buy something. They've never experienced that. When it breaks, we're out of business. This was the machine helping them crank out those cars with just one problem. It's on the verge of breaking. Richard Platt, the engineering teacher, started problem solving, making his own machine bigger, better, and cheaper. It uses open source components that we buy off Amazon or eBay. The controller in this machine is $65. The controller in the other machine, if we can get it, is $3,000. But that machine wasn't big enough. Platt and his students began making another machine, naming it Big Chief worth $50,000 made for less than 8,000. The old machine could only make more than 400 cars in two weeks. This new machine is much larger and can make more than 1,000 of these cars in one week. The students weren't finished. I don't know about you, but I don't have $30,000 to go spend on a robotic arm. Instead, spending just around $1,200, they made their own. Platt is hoping to make even more of these machines, passing them to schools around Manatee County and hopefully the country. In Bradenton, Heather Lee, ABC Action News.